We're learning new developments involving a high school swim coach charged with child porn. Today, Berkeley Prep fired the man police say had over 100 illegal images on his personal computer. Investigators say Jay Goldstein fully admitted the videos and pictures on his computer were there. Our Allison Morrow joins us now live with how the arrest of the part-time swim and dive coach is impacting students and the overall community. Allison. Wendy Jamison, parents tell me that administrators here at Berkeley have asked anyone affiliated with the swim and dive team to stay quiet about this event. Berkeley is a very exclusive private school here in Tampa, and it is also very well protected. You can see the guard gate over my shoulder here, and the school says that the security and safety of its students was and is its number one priority. The email went out around noon Thursday, parents learning from Berkeley Prep's headmaster that they, quote, moved swiftly to terminate part-time swim and dive coach Jay Goldstein. The sheriff's office counting at least 100 pictures of children under 12 engaged in sex acts. Of course, this is, it's a big shock. Lynn Columbus's daughter Stephanie says she learned about Coach Goldstein at a meeting called in Berkeley's auditorium. A friend on the diving team, and she was just like, really shocked from what I heard because she like really knew him. Goldstein's neighbors remember those dive students spending time at his house in Lutz. He would introduce them. These are my my kids that I I dive and, and I swim with. But the exclusive prep school that costs almost $20,000 a year protected by guards and a security gate claims their students aren't victims in any photos. Because they were downloaded and not generated by him uh, we have no reason to believe that uh, he would be including Berkeley students whatsoever. For his neighbors, though, no matter who those kids are. Sad. Very sad. This news changes everything. This is a shock. I think I'm in a dream. Michelle LeCicero, away on business, had asked Goldstein to keep an eye on her house. He's somebody that I trusted 100% with my children. What do you say to him? You don't. You don't. I mean, I have. there's no words for me. I have nothing to say to him. Berkeley tells me that its last background check of Jay Goldstein was in 2005, and it came up completely clean. We're live in Tampa tonight. I'm Allison Morrow, ABC Action News.